Let me show you how I put a real low and slow bud on the Traeger tonight. Let's get started. All right, now that we've got kind of everything cleaned up and I've got this butt on a sheet pan, I'm gonna use a mustard binder today. If you've got an olive oil, if you wanna use water, if you wanna use no binder at all, it's completely up to you. You know, the thing about pulled pork, it's one of the easiest things to learn how to cook, first of all. But then second of all, there is no right or wrong way. And so a lot of people are really quick to jump on the internet and go, you shouldn't be trimming that. There's no need in it. You shouldn't inject it. You shouldn't wrap with that. Why are you seasoning with anything but salt or pepper? You know, it's your house, your way, and so make it your way. If you've got a favorite seasoning you like, be sure to use it. If you don't like binders, don't use them. That's the, that's the great thing about making barbecue your own for your family. You can make it very unique. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a good savory rub. It's got a little bit of heat undertone. It's got a great flavor to it. It's one of my best selling rubs. That's gonna be my garlic butter. I want a good savory note and a good base layer. It's got that salt and pepper and garlic, everything in it. Now, once I get that seasoned good, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of my pecan rub. Now, this pecan rub's got a good savory note to it. Got a great color to it. I really like it. My wife loves it on salmon and everything else like you've heard me say before. And of course, it's great on barbecue. Now, I'm gonna kind of pat that in. You will miss a little bit on the end. Now, I'm gonna throw stick this in the fridge and I'm gonna let it hang out till about 9.30 tonight and I'm gonna throw it in my smoker. I may go about 9 p.m. tonight. I'm gonna put it in my Traeger Ironwood XL with some Royal Oak charcoal pellets. I'm gonna get this thing set on about 200 degrees and I'm gonna let it roll all night long. We'll see y'all in the morning. All right, guys, I am out here on my patio and I will turn my phone around in just a minute, but it is 827 currently. I've got this butt out of the fridge about 30 minutes ago. I've got my Traeger fired up. I've got it filled with some Royal Oak charcoal pellets. I'll turn that around. I'm gonna set this butt on the grill, get a probe in it, and I'm gonna chill right now, and I'll check on it in the morning, sometime about 6, 6.30. We'll give y'all an update. So, we'll be back. All right, it is 8.30 in the morning. As you can see, last night we put our butt on at 8.30. This thing has been on 12 hours, and the grill is saying it's about 155 degrees on the probe, and would you look at that? That is a beautiful butt. The color is phenomenal. That's right where we wanted around that 160 degree mark to wrap. We know that bark is stuck to that. When we do that smear test, none of it's coming off. So we know that butt's ready to wrap. So I'm gonna set it over here. I'm gonna pull this probe out. And I'm gonna pick this thing up with just a glove on and set it on there. Now I'm gonna get this off. Let's get it over to our cutting board, get it wrapped up. I'll come back and stick the probe back in it. But while I go over to my cutting board, I'm gonna go ahead and top my pellets off really quick and go ahead and bump my grill up to about 250 degrees. Now, I didn't even use a whole bag cooking, so these things are really efficient, especially low and slow. Got a beautiful color on that bark right there. Let's get over the cutting board, wrap this up, get it back on the grill, get it set to 250 degrees, and you know we're gonna have some good pulled pork. All right, now that we got that butt over here, I've got a little bit, when I say a little bit of sweet sauce left in here and a little bit of vinegar sauce, I'm gonna take and pour this vinegar sauce in this sweet just because it's more runny. And this is something I used to do in comps a long time ago. I used to take my sauces and mix them together 50-50, and that's what kind of I, I wrap my pork butts with, right? Uh, when they got ready to wrap, or my money muscles, whatever. So you can see how much more thicker that sweet is. I'm not gonna use a lot, just a little bit there. Now, let's go ahead and get this top back on here. I usually keep one of these bottles with about 50-50 in it all the time, just because that's the way I like eating my sauce. I use it a lot on the sandwiches and things like that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of this over this butt. 
Now I just want to impart just a little bit of moisture on this butt and I'm going to use almost all of that. You know what? I'll go ahead and use the rest of it. It's not much. And that was maybe close to a half a bottle of mixed up sauce. Not much. Since I'm cooking low and slow, I know that these sugars are not going to caramelize and burn in the foil. If you were cooking at a high, high temp, I think I would watch it. I wouldn't want to do this really on my drum, but that's just me. So let's get this thing wrapped up. I'm gonna come over first that way. Come on back that way, spin this thing. Now I like easy access in these butts. Go ahead and kind of crease that together. Get that folded all up. Now, I know that right here is where I want to stick my probe back at, so that's where I had it at before. So I'm going to get it back over in the grill, kind of pierce it through, get this grill that's already on 250 degrees, and this butt ought to be off in a couple hours. Because we should be pulling around 195 degrees, because remember, we've cooked it low and slow all night long. This thing does not need to go over 200, and then we need to put it in our Yeti cooler and let it rest a couple hours before it's turned into delicious pulled pork. Grill lid shut, see you in a couple hours. All right, as you can see, our alarm is finally going off. It is 11.05. So we put this butt on last night at 8.30. We wrapped it at 8.30 this morning and bumped our grill up to 250 degrees. And I went ahead and stuck a chef's alarm in it as well. And both probes are hitting that 195. Actually, the chef's alarms hit 195 this one over here near the money muscle hit almost 200, um, which is fine because the thickest part of that roast muscle in that butt, I wanted to ensure that we got to 195 degrees. Oh yeah, that butt's soft. Now I'm gonna take it out. I've got it on a tray here. I'm gonna get it in my Yeti cooler. I've got a 65 quart Yeti right here. I'm gonna get it in here and let it rest for at least two hours before I pull this thing or maybe an hour and a half, something like that. But let's get it in here and let it rest. All right, our overnight pork butt has finally done rested. It's rested two hours. So just to recap, we took a pork butt, trimmed the fat cap off where we could expose more meat to get more bark on the meat. We then put it on our Traeger Ironwood XL at 8.30 last night with roll oak charcoal pellets. We let it go all the way to 8.30 this morning at 200 degrees. That butt was around 155 when we wrapped it. I bumped it up to 250 degrees. It was off by 11. I've let it rest for two hours. It's now 1 p.m. So I'm going to get in here, shred my butt up, and see what we're working with. Now, I did wrap with... 50% of my sweet sauce and 50% of my vinegar, kind of half and half. That's what I used to do in contests. So I'm going to take this butt and kind of set it over in here and start unwrapping it. But before I even unwrap it, I want you guys to look at this butt. It is pure bliss. That's what that is. Because that butt has got beautiful color. I mean, everything about it is solid. I can take this blade bone, trying to be careful here, and get it all the way out. All right? How about we just take that bone and do this with it? Just kind of mash it up. Maybe make it a little easier when it comes to tearing. So I'm gonna take and shred this bud here, get it all nice and shredded up. Pick the fat out of it, and we're going to get ready to make something good. Now we've kind of got some juice poured out of it, and I'm going to go in here, and I don't want to mush this all up because we got some fat in between here, right? I want to pull out some of those hard pockets of fat, like that right there, and kind of discard it. You know, big, big globs of fat there, really before I start shredding this meat up. Look at how tender that is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could taste that. That is so good. And you see this fat like this right here? Take and just get it off. 
there's a lot of little fat pockets. If you just take your time and ease through that butt, you can pull a lot of that mess out. If you're one of these guys, I've been in a hurry too, and just mash it all up and chop it up. Hey, that's fine too. Nothing wrong with it. This butt is moist, tender, juicy, just what I wanted it. Well, I would say that butt right there is good enough for me. And that's just a little bit of fat I pulled out of here. Well, that might be a piece of meat. But there's really not a ton of fat on this butt. But some of these are just hard pockets of fat and you wanna make sure you get them out. And you see that butt shredded just fine and tender, pulled it at 195 degrees because I cooked it at such a low temp. And so get that disregarded there and you've got a nice butt to make some sandwiches out of or whatever you want to do. Just remember, now you can come back and add a little barbecue sauce to this if you want, bag it up, vacuum seal it, save it for later, break it down in portions, do whatever you want. If you like what we're doing on the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, follow along with your friends. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video. I better have one more bite of this, though. <laughs> Man, that's good.